Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to have a look at some of the bits in 3.5.1's PTU, more specifically Arc Corp. Arc Corp has changed. The procedural generation for the city looks much better. Let's go have a look. Look behind me. The moving struts of Port Alassar. And FOIP seems to work a bit better with my camera without any form of setup needed other than click on calibrate, which is good. So we are here at area 18 and they have uh, improved and changed some of the generation of uh, the uh, silly planet um, and they've added a load more assets and I believe they've done a lighting pass and done some stuff with branding as well. Now there are weird sort of like when you get close you'll see some odd errors of sort of like uh, buildings generated in a way like maybe this one in a way that's probably not intended but like it's sort of sticking out of the ground in a slightly weird way with traffic going through it I don't know if you can see that one um, and you've got some of the, the traffic just like going through buildings there um, so obviously there are still problems with 3.5.1 when it comes to city, city generation but that's going to be throughout Star Citizen being an alpha that they're, they're going to keep on improving and changing it you'll see lots of odd errors and bugs and eventually they'll get it all sort of like um, ironed out. But we should see, when you're looking at anywhere on a horizon, uh, much better placement of ads so that they don't repeat so much. Uh, more of a range of sort of like those brands and ads. Uh, new building types uh, that will be around the area. Um, I love how it looks. I loved how it looked before, but there's sort of like big trenches um, which are absolutely fantastic and there's giant highways like here I'm hoping they actually physicalize some of the highways a little bit more in the future not all of the highways obviously you want them lots and distances and efficiency but uh, the one we actually have at the um, base port there by area 18 that would be cool to have better physicalized traffic there because at the moment it's super low lot. All towers. Fantastic looking buildings. Uh, and you'll notice that there's better blending between the areas as well. It's still not great um, when you get out of this district. Um, you'll instantly notice a, a change to sort of like lower detail buildings. Um, flat assets like over here uh, but there is at least better blending than there was Pause. wasn't scared wasn't scared I was gonna hit that building what do you think I am I'm a professional I'm trying to look for the donut buildings but I don't know where they are um, these sort of like island buildings, they're, they're like a trench all around them. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, just the scale of this. This is a city planet. Now, yes, some of the districts, some of the, the blocks are very, very high detail like this one. Um, and have been focused on a lot more. Uh, and some of them are more like those flatter buildings in the distance. Um, and they're sort of like, they do define which areas are industrial, which are commercial, which are hero zones, which are residential, which are low-tech, high-tech, whatever, um, as part of the generation. And then by hand, they sort of like procedurally, um, procedurally assist is what they sort of deem it. Uh, they go in by hand and they uh, make changes, uh, move buildings around, uh, that sort of jazz. A little bit of height. No, oh, my ship did not like that. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Let's get some height and uh, have a look at the city from a little bit of a higher, higher angle. You'll notice the performance is significantly better around the city. Um, previously, when I put my landing gear down in 3.5, at least at the early stages of it, um, I'd lose all of my frames. <gasps> Donut building! So you'll notice, uh, well, you might notice or you might not notice 
uh, new buildings and new assets around, but this is uh, something that's a little bit more obviously changed. Uh, the donut building, which you should see around the planet. Uh, it's just sort of like a, a testament to them adding assets to the game. Oh, it's got a big round road in it as well. This is the first time I've actually seen it up close myself. I'm sorry if my ship decides to uh, change course. That's pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a round building um, with docks sort of like little colour blocks representing cars, which are not the highest detail. But it is new. And it is cool. Nowhere to land on here, is there? I see there's like a landing pad nearby. Let's check. When I get away from the restricted zone, it should stop telling me that I'm near a restricted zone. If that works. Doesn't appear to be working yet. Go land over there. And actually have a look at the horizon and the landscape on foot. I'm good. Wasn't scared. Uh, auto land me. I don't know how to land myself. Come on. Auto land me. Yeah. I think they need to make the auto land feature a little bit more sensitive. So that from quite far away, if you hold N, it will sort of auto land you, but that might require some extra AI and uh, some mechanics there. And probably something they are adding to the game. Uh, bam. Let's jump out of our vehicle. So this is 3.5.1 PTU. Um, and I am very much liking it. It's got a lot of performance increases and boosts. Uh, oh. I feel like I want to be able to see the donut ring a bit better. Maybe using cinematic cameras we can do this. Whoop. Uh, that's an alright shot, I suppose. Why not? I'm not the greatest at getting Star Citizen shots. I mean, I'm good at talking about it. Um, but yeah, the, the horizon looks absolutely fantastic. I'm loving the, the additional um, changes and generation uh, for buildings assets and the way they've tweaked it. New brands, new lighting, um, load of passes at the LODs. Let's uh, actually get down in to area 18. This will give us a better flyby of the city. But some of the, the technical achievements... White... Waytech. Uh, some of the technical achievements of Star Citizen are, are pretty superb. And hopefully it all comes together to make a great game. Or at least has some gameplay loops which I love. Uh, that's that's the, what I'm looking for. When Star Citizen's done, I want to really love the economy or mining or combat or something that I can then focus on. Because I very much doubt I'm going to love all the mechanics. That would be madness to think that. Um, let's request a landing. If I like a load of them or like supporting some of them. Like I, I used to love games like, uh, and still do, um, Rust, things like that. I like Toil uh, and Industry and Economy for uh, rewards. I don't mind spending hours grinding like Classic WoW, I might even go back to. <laughs> What's that? Let me land. Pro, pro landing. The best landing. That damage uh, was there. Before I started landing. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Perfect. Mwah. Perfect landing. I'm a, I'm a professional. Oh my god. Let's get, get out of that. Uh, camera mode. Where am I going? Here. Over here. So let's do a quick tour of area 18 on this video as well. 
um, although not too much would have changed really. There's been a lighting pass, um, there's been a brown pass, so you'll notice some changes like outside the windows and some of the horizon even from within area 18. Uh, so this looks pretty pretty slick and pretty cool. cool. Uh, there's been obviously performance passes, uh, that sort of chance as well. So this is the Riker Memorial Starport. So called, um, I believe, after our backer who passed away. Uh, a very nice thing of CIG um, to do, to, to memorialise them in game. Um, we've got ship rentals area here, which might actually allow us to rent ships um, in the future, which I'm hoping it does. 3.6 is supposed to have a rentable ships in the position universe the vip lounge um i'm interested to know if this will actually be sectioned off for vips and then allow them to eat here because there is like food coffee machines and moving to the customs area um customs areas aren't going to be functional in uh, as far as i'm aware in 3.6 um, even with the law system and the black market system but uh, they will be eventually and then they'll like scan you to see if you've got narcotics or anything on you that you're not supposed to, like a weapon or whatever, either confiscate you, give you a, um, a criminal rating or something if you've done something too naughty. Uh, laws in uh, areas like this are going to sort of like be um, hierarchical, so it's going to be based on the area of space you're in, based on the planet you're on, it's going to change what is uh, legal or illegal. Um, although in most civilized areas there's going to be illicit goods, um, such as, you know, narcotics, which will be pretty much legal in almost all places, or at least in the whole system. Um, and then you'll have, like, maybe you can come to Area 18 in the future and go talk to Twitch Pacheco. Maybe she's a fence. Maybe she'll um, allow you to sell um, stolen items to her or something like that. So, Sorry. You exceeded the allotted time for departure. Oh. You'll have to return your ship for storage. That's fine. Put it in the storage. See if I care. Interested to see if there's any improvements to my train ride experience. I do not like the lighting like that. That is a horrible reflection. <laughs> like squatting. I like this sort of like the way they do the animations. We generate them based on what's necessary. Thank you for your cooperation. So the the actual shuttle buses look fantastic. Um, you can see what I mean by the that the disappeared there. That ship. They're very low LOD um, traffic when they physicalize the traffic. And obviously, they need to do that because otherwise, there'd be too much. Uh, going on uh, for server for me um, say for me I'm not processing all this information my computer is the bypass and you sort of like see a load of the improvements they've made some of the changes um, to the the placement of buildings uh, to the lighting I'm not liking the reflections though. Look at that. How obstructive they are. I know they're putting in reflections because, you know, they're like, oh, realism or reflections are cool. Don't put it on anything that would be used for a civilian or a pilot to look out of. If I'm in a cockpit, I don't want my glass to have reflections. I want futuristic reflectionless glass. We actually are passing over Area 18 now. I'm liking the balconies. I want balconies for my my hab. We've gone from the hangar, the uh, Royco Memorial Starport, um, got on the train, and we've taken it into the heart of Area 18. Um, so we're now at the uh, train station. There's two platforms. Um, so you have a train or shuttle bus as it actually is um, 
uh, every couple of minutes or so. This doesn't really mean anything yet, these boards, but eventually, um, maybe they have information that is useful on uh, and tangible. I'm going to go up to Art Court Plaza. You should be able to see just general improvements in performance. Uh, I can't accept that that dude disappeared. 3.5.1 PTU, guys. Uh, NPCs and uh, random objects disappearing, so the traffic disappear. Um, now, I can't remember exactly what the plaza looked like before, but apparently there's been some tweaks here. So in Art Court Plaza, we have a hospital, which isn't open yet, but uh, eventually you'll respawn there when you die in some situations. Uh, we've got the um, sort of like trade development division. So this is where you'd buy and can buy um, commodities, but you'd also be able to get jobs there, the job well. Um, got a little side street over here, with the little hidden areas of Art Court, off the plaza. Nice little zen area, I find. Wool. And then you've got sort of like just the back alleys and back streets. Um, where you might be able to pick up a turtle if you're lucky and look around. Um, so, have some persistence still. So you can sort of like hoard things in them until resets. And they're slowly making more and more things. Um, Persistent. We've got these little banking terminals, which don't have a use yet, but uh, I suspect they will have a use in the future. Down there is Twitch Pacheco. I can go say hello to her. So other than potentially uh, the lighting, I'm not noticing much new in terms of the actual inner city. Obviously looking around the horizon. That's pretty cool. Maybe there is a couple of you brandy things? Was that there before? Hard to know, isn't it? Which Pacheco over here. Horizon here might have changed somewhat. I think it probably has. Hello, Twitch. Hello. You're kind of off the beaten path, aren't you? I know. I know, it's a strange place to hang out, but I quite like it here. It's quiet. Well... Quieter. I'm Tisha Pacheco, but people call me Twitch. If you're wondering back here, it says two things to me. One, they're an adventurous spirit. Two, they got some time on their hands. Fortunately, I'm a freelance time manager. I keep people busy. So if you find yourself looking for something to occupy your time, then... I know people who are hiring adventurous spirits. Her eyes are amazing. Um, so at the moment, Twitch has got a hat on and a hood, but she's got amazing hair, which they haven't finished yet. Um, so we should be seeing that pretty soon. She's also extreme man spreading. You monster, goodbye. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so that's where Twitch Pacheco is. Um, you will get uh, missions from her. Um, going to your mobile glass, um, especially if you've been naughty. So yeah, NPCs, they are jittering around, at least in the city, and they've done a load of fixes for the jittering of um, AI and um, combat and, and that sort of stuff, but we'll have to see whether that's working properly in another video. Um, so we've got Art Corp Tower here, uh, it's the IO Tower, I believe, uh, and in here we've got a couple of things. now. Unfortunately, on the BTU with Concierge, Subscribers, and Evocati, I'm on my Evo account, um, and my other account doesn't have access yet. But, uh, this is where the Million Mile High Club is, through that door, if you have access to it. Um, also, we've got Center Mass, up in this elevator. There are more shops and buildings and interesting things may get added to the future around Art Corp uh, and in the um, Art Corp Tower. You'll see where, where they have lifts. They can have lots of different floors and lots of different shops and lots of different stuff going on. Um, I'll talk more about that when we go to the um, uh, Atria Falls, Atria Falls.
a center mass, a weapon shop, uh, FPS and ship weapons. Have a quick look on the console. Cool um, artwork there. So loads of missiles available. Uh, loads of attachments available. Attachments are just ammo at the moment, but in 3.6 we should actually see different weapon attachments to put on your weapons, apparently. Uh, frag raids and uh, some cool weapons. I will grab the uh, S71 assault rifle. Why not? Let's grab some ammo for that. For a future video. Thanks. Uh, oh, no. Get out, get out of here. And what else have we got? We've got missile racks here. Uh, missiles should be working significantly better and not hugging things anymore. Um, in the latest patch. Oh, there's still problems, don't get me wrong, but they've fixed or starting to fix uh, a load of the problems with 3.5's branch. Um, obviously, um, this will almost certainly be the last 3.5 patch before 3.6 because they were, are trying to get 3.6 done by the end of June. Uh, turret attachments there. Um, we also have a good range of weapons here. There are a lot of weapons here. Centre mass. You are the best selection of weapons at all sizes that I've seen in the verse. Fantastic. Cool. Alright, do we... I would like to see the fixed mount for the Hornet again and the pull mount available. Um, in shops like this. Cool. That center mass. Maybe some more drops opening soon, as it says. A quick look out the window. Just to be thorough. Yeah, not a fan of the reflections. DIG, get rid of reflections on anything that would be looked out of by human eyes. Or have reflections one way. So on the outside of my ship, have it all reflecty. Oh, it's all reflecty. I can't see in. Oh, look how good it looks. On the inside, when I'm looking out of something. Have it one way reflections. Perfect. You hear the little center mass music in the very, very lightly in the background. Potentially. Depends on how I edit this. I do like the adverts around the city. Right, let's uh, get back into Art Court Plaza and move over to the different areas. Uh, it's not areas, I'm going to keep on saying area when I mean uh, sections or, or zones. So, got the Biz hologram which uh, the bits will sort of like bounce off your head uh, if I... Oh my god. Where am I? Oop. The, the little particles sort of bounce off me. Sort of like hit me. Pretty sure they're not as dense as they used to be. Those particles. Uh, maybe here. Those are like bounce off my head. Tink, 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 even though they're holograms. Madness. Telling me I'm fizzy. Have they added an, have they added an extra Z onto fizz? Or did I just not notice it before? So as I said, we've got a hospital over there, and we've got entrance to zone 1 and zone 3, I believe. Um, go to zone 1 via this route. With a cool sort of like... Transition areas. Do the shuttle bus, which actually passes over this area that we were in earlier. We've got a cassava outlet, selling all your cassava outlet needs. Uh, we've got a cubby blast, which uh, was in the original um, area 18, um, when they sort of like first made the, the social social areas. So a load of different first person shooter. Uh, weapons and gear here. Some guy floating through a wall. Good job. He's gone back to his people. Nice. And <laughs> now he's returned. Um, still got the weird looking vandal head. 
never became flare, which was weird. I thought it was going to be hangar flare. Armor, jumpsuits. I'll do that sort of jazz. Uh, I assume in the future as well, those sort of like hot dog vendors and food vendors um, with the stamina system and the player status system. And we will need to eat. Um, or if we don't, I love the way that that, that sign is above his, above his head, sort of like obscuring his face slightly. Um, uh, we'll lose stamina or we won't be able to um, make use of oxygen so well, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be critical or whatever. Um, so we got Adria Falls there, here, there, here. Um, where we spawn, we have a um, persistent hab here. It will change location to different floors and different rooms, but it will still be our persistent hab. It will still be the, the same room that we logged off with. It just might have moved around. Uh, so we can haul turtles there or gear there. And when we have local inventories, I believe in 3.7, um, that will also be a place that we store our gear. So we come down here. Um, that takes us back to Art Court Plaza. We've got pizza vendor. Load of the food vendors here. Cool bridge leading to Astro Armado. So this is one of the best views in Area 18, in my opinion. Looking across this bridge. That's one of the shuttle bus comes by. Um, we've got Astro Armada, which at the moment has a Hawk for sale. But uh, in the future, it will have um, other ships. There'll be a terminal here that you can purchase ships from. Potentially rent them from uh, as well. Um, fixed it so you could no longer get in there and eject from it, <laughs> which is funny. Um, we've got Dumbus Depot down there, so that's sort of like typically secondhand or cheaper um, ship items and parts. Oh, so cool. In the little um, Avenger ad where they've got the guy flying over uh, the planet, potentially Art Corp, uh, and then doing the EMP from the Warlock. Um, what about all the shuttle buses he disabled? What about all the people that died from that? It doesn't mention that, does it? So there's turtles here, which we are going to carry. The turtles no longer disappear when you're near them. Can I stow this bad boy? Stow the turtle. Pick up another turtle. We've got a turtle stowed in our turtle pocket, and we've got another one picked up. We'll, uh, we'll make use of those later. We've got Dumpus Depot. Obviously buy items direct from the shelf. from the console here. I'm assuming they will update this really, really old placeholder from um, the original Area 18 uh, at some point. But a lot of Area 18, some of the, the structures internally, um, are the old assets. And I've got no problems on using the old assets, but some of them need to be updated in my opinion. And um, some of the animations, some of the little, little bits and bobs there. Um, I mean, I want them to make use and reuse as much as they can. So let's move over to zone three. And, uh, torpedo burritos there. Little mini bar. So this is uh oh oh, he's a twitcher. A very side alley like um, zone three. Got the G lock bar. Which eventually you'd have to sort of like get missions from people in. Um, we were just in zone two. I'm not sure if I announced that from zone one. Zone one is the sort of like where Adria Falls is. Um, zone two is where the Astro Armada was. Cool little side alleys in zone three. Go to the other entrance to zone two from this side. interesting music but it all sort of like loops around area 18 isn't that big internally at the moment um, it looks and feels big I suppose 
got the G Lock Bar, which is again the old assets from the original Area 18, at least for the most part. But uh, we can sit down and have a drink. But we do have a turtle. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Only some of these glasses are pick up ball. Can we we drink? Oh, we can inspect. But oh no, it's a prop. No liquid in here. Let's, uh, let's place this bad boy. Did I drop my turtle on the ground? Oh, I lost all my turtles. Not on that. So the turtle lost it. Dropped a turtle, lost it. Be careful of your turtles, guys. You might just lose them. This is horrible having trash just here. People chilling out. Dance floor for the future. And that leads, uh, at least views the area where you'd catch a hover bus. You hear me call them trains, um, shuttle buses, hover buses. Let's go through all the different terms for them. The Zone 3 is pretty, pretty small. There's some like more little side areas and alleys, but uh, nothing much really in Zone 3 beyond that G-Lock bar. Uh, that's weird that at different ranges, you can see different things. So like as I get closer, those drops get smaller and smaller and smaller. They get far away. They look like they're much bigger. Maybe the particles are the same size in whatever distance, that's a perspective thing. How weird. Yeah, that's sort of like Art Corp. They've improved the lighting, they've improved the performance. Uh, NPCs are still derpy as hell um, around here, but it's uh, getting pretty slick, it's getting pretty cool. I hope that was uh, an interesting look for you uh, at Art Corp and Area 18. Uh, let's have a let's go back to our hab. Actually, I don't think we'll have an assigned hab until we log out and log back in. Um, now let's run to Adria Falls. Adria Falls. I'm not. Ad era. Ad Adira. Adira Falls. Did it in Sesame Street style. I'm the worst with names. And I play a lot of Diablo 3. Or Di Diablo 3. Um, so I use the name of the witch. Uh, apologies for anyone triggered by that. Uh, but yeah, so let's go up to floor whatever. And look out. Uh, so when we log out and log back in, we will spawn in a hab um, at the last major area you visited. The idea in the future is that if you get killed or whatever, um, you will spawn in a hospital, um, the nearest sort of like hospital landing zone um, to you. Um, it might be the last one you visited, but I would suspect it would be the closest one to you um, when you when you get killed. Um, but eventually habs will be resistant, rentable, um, have physicalized addresses and there might be sort of like temporary tabs for people still like um like more public ones like the uh, potentially the ones on uh Paul Lassar or something maybe they won't be rentable maybe they're just be all publicy ones or um just sort of like very short-term rental or something um, but uh there will be rentable habs there will be physicalized habs in the future and hangers and again there will almost certainly be public hangers and um, physicalized purchasable slash rentable hangers. Uh, but anyway, please tell me what you think. Are you excited for 3.5.1? Are you liking the improvements they've made? Are you hating reflections like I do? Oh my god! Blech. Okay, so 
apparently, apparently there's an advert here. Where's the advert? Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's over, it's over here. So the reflection goes all the way around. Here, does it? Hmm. 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 Likely story. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. So this is a bit of a long sort of like, um, eye candy one. Me just chatting and ranting. You take care. Every month we have a ship giveaway for June. We have an Origin 890 Jump, the massive luxury ship that should also be flyable with Alpha 3.6 at the end of the month. That is a huge, huge sort of like capital luxury ship. It's been donated by Odyssey Interstellar, a friendly industrial expansionist organization in Star Citizen that focus on mining, trading, industry, exploration, research, and infrastructure. In short, commerce is their goal. They run regular weekly events in-game now. Please check them out if you are looking for an org to join. Links down below. There are a couple of services I shield for as well that you might find useful. If you're looking for a VPN, then check out NordVPN. I use it for security privacy and more it has massive advantages over free vpns and if you use the code board gamer you get 75 percent off your subscription boom also there is shadow cloud gaming this is an alternative to having your own or upgrading your gaming rig on pc it leverages the power of the internet and your own shadow server that emulates a high spec windows 10 pc so you can play up to 144 hertz 4k anywhere with an old pc laptop smartphone or even tablet Freedom to play anywhere. The internet is good enough anyway. And it works really well with Star Citizen and all the games that I play. And is constantly updated and even improved with new hardware. Again, use the code BOARDGAMER for discount. Links below to all of that jazz. Thank you to all that support the channel through Patreon, the YouTube join button, donations, subscribe star, as well as anyone that just generally subscribes, likes, comments, and shares my content. Dings that bell. Ding, ding. If you feel so inclined, you can find uh, links to all of that down below. A special thank you, though, to my VIP producers this month, Dalamars, Catastrus, Raz, Gear Khan, General Ventador, Robert Johnson, and Andy Green, who have given well beyond the norm in support for the channel. I know a load of other people have, but I can't name them all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the verse.